Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the new Trezor Safe 5 cryptocurrency hardware wallet. And as an added bonus, I'm going to show you how to use the multi share backup scheme developed by Satoshi Labs. So let's jump in. All right, so I have the Trezor Safe 5 here, and I'm going to unbox it and show you how to get it configured. And I'm going to be using the multi share backup system. So, in today's example, I'm going to be using a uh, three set. So, we're going to end up with three different seed phrases uh, of this multi share backup. And basically, what that means is that if you ever need to do a restore, you will need two of these three backups to do a successful restore. Now, what this does is give you some redundancy. So, if someone were to stumble across one of these, they would not be able to restore and access your cryptocurrency. And similarly, if you lost one of these, uh, you would still have enough to do your restore. Now, uh, notice that I am using paper, and notice that I have labeled these. Um, I can't stress enough how important it is that you label your seed phrases. Even if it's a single seed phrase, please put the name of the device and maybe even the date is also a good idea. And uh, even though these are interchangeable, I am labeling them one of three, two of three, and three of three. Uh, but they are interchangeable, so it's, it's not really that important which one is which but uh, I am personally going to label them that just for my own sanity. In addition to the cryptographic integrity check that we're going to do later, the Trezor Safe 5 comes with several anti-tampering countermeasures that you'll want to um, confirm as we go through this process. The first is this uh, tear. Uh, I took off the plastic, which was undamaged. Um, and then we've got this uh, tear off. You want to make sure that that is intact. Here's our device. You'll see that it has anti tamper resistant holographic uh, tape. So you'll want to confirm that that is intact. It will leave a little residue. You can get this off with a little bit of elbow grease. I like to use uh, Clorox wipes for this. Uh, just be careful not to leak any of the liquid into the mechanism. All right, and there we go. That cleaning step is not strictly necessary, but I like to do it. All right, and you can see here that they've given us some backup cards. They've only given us two. So generally, the easiest way to set one of these up is with one seed phrase, right? But we're gonna do the multi-share today, just as an example. They've given us a USB cable. Uh, it's a little short for uh, my Liking, I like to use one that's a little bit longer. Um, you can use any compatible USB cable with this device. There's nothing special about this cable. Um, this one is a uh, pretty good length for a laptop, but I'm using a desktop, so I'll use a longer cable. We've got the device connected, and it's telling us to go over to Trezor. So uh, we'll go over there to get the software component going. All right, so you'll want to make sure that you're on the official Trezor site, uh, trezor.io. And uh, you can just do slash start here, and it's going to take you through the setup. So we're going to download uh, the software for desktop. You can just drop this in your downloads folder. All right, so we'll just go over to our downloads folder and run that install. We can enable view only. This means that you can look at your Trezor suite without having the device attached so that you can uh, track your balances and the current value of your portfolio without having the device attached. Don't panic when you see this incorrect state. It's just telling you it needs to be set up. So we'll go ahead and click Begin Setup and it detects that it needs the firmware. So we'll go ahead and install the firmware. Always make sure that you keep your device firmware and your device software up to date. It's very important. Let's hit install firmware here and see that it's installing the firmware. Uh, just go ahead and let it finish that. All right, and once it does that, 
you'll see the Trezor restarting, and then we can uh, go ahead and continue here. And now it's going to do the verification check. Let's hit start there. You'll need to confirm this on your device by swiping up. We'll go ahead and do that. And then they just want us to tap to continue. We'll tap on the device. And it runs that integrity check that I was uh, mentioning earlier. This is a cryptographic handshake. The cryptographic handshake will ensure that your device is genuine and has not been tampered with. Only one of the many uh, countermeasures that Trezor has. Uh, we're ready to go, so let's hit continue now. Uh, there's a little short tutorial here, which we can do on the device. It just teaches us some of the, how the interface on the device works. And just go through that. And then you can hold your, uh, sometimes it'll ask you to uh, press and hold and you'll feel the haptic feedback and you'll see the progress. And then uh, that'll be, uh, that, that's usually done for confirmations when you're signing transactions. Done with the tutorial. All right, we'll continue on. And uh, we're going to create a new wallet in this scenario. All right, and uh, here is where we choose our backup type. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the multi-share today. So uh, we'll go ahead and hit create wallet and we'll need to confirm this on our device as well. So we'll swipe up and then hold to confirm. All right, you'll feel that haptic feedback and then uh, the wallet is created and now it's asking us to do the backup. We'll hit continue to backup. We'll hit create backup. All right, we'll swipe up. The first thing we're gonna do is set the numbers. I'm gonna do a two of three backup. It's the least complicated uh, and it uh, kind of gives you uh, a feel for how this works. So we'll set our number of shares at three. All right, I can uh, tell it that I only want three. We can uh, do four. We can uh, really get uh, into it and uh, do a very high number. Uh, this is going to be a little more involved, right? This would increase your redundancy, right? So you'd, you'd uh, have more, you could afford to lose more shares. <laughs> you would have a higher threshold. We're gonna stick with three total shares just to kind of keep it simple. Our threshold is going to be, of course, two. So uh, we'll choose two, and then we're gonna need to write down and check all three shares. All right, we wanna make sure we don't put this anywhere digital, right, only on paper or metal medium. We can use that as well. All right, it's telling us to start with share number one, right, and there's our first word. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using three separate pieces of paper, but we can also use the Trezor Keep Metal. Uh, I only have two, but if I had three, I could use each one of these for one of my backups. All right, the Trezor Keep Metal is a metal medium that allows you to store your, your seed phrase in a much more durable format than paper. All right, you can see here that uh, it allows you to uh, punch out the first four letters of each word. And that is all that is necessary uh, to recover uh, the first four letters. Uh, when you're recovering on the device, it, once you have typed in four letters, it will auto-complete the word for you. The words are longer than four just for our English just for our own sanity so that it looks like an English word. It makes it easier for us to wrap our brains around. But the device only requires the first four letters. This is a great option for uh, your multi-share backup. Uh, much more durable, waterproof, fade-proof, fireproof, freeze-proof, all that's great stuff. So consider that as an option. After each word, we'll swipe up. All right, once you've got them all written down, you'll hold to confirm. And then uh, they'll do a quick check. 
So uh, you'll just go to word number one there, and uh, you'll see its equation. So we choose equation here. Uh, now it wants me to go to word 11 of 20. And then 20 of 20. Uh, we've got share number one completed. Okay, now we're on share number two. We'll go through the same process. All right, and then when we get to the end, we'll hold to confirm. All right, and then we'll go through that check again. It wants word five of 20, which is deadline. It were once word eight of 20, which is airport, and 17 of 20, which is genre. So we've done number two. We'll get number three going now. We'll swipe up. All right, once we've got to uh, word number 20, we'll swipe up. We'll hold to confirm. All right, we'll do that quick check again. All right, it wants word uh, two of 20, which is industry. So uh, I'll tap that. It were at once word 13 of 20, which is fortune. And then it were once word 15 of 20, that's playoff. These are just the, the check, right? Instead of having you check every single word, it just has several. About three out of the 20 run the check. So we have three separate 20 word lists and uh, we'll hide these in separate locations, of course, right? And as I mentioned, uh, you could use the uh, Trezor Keep Metal for storing these and you would need three of the uh, Trezor Keep Metal uh, for this scenario. So keep that in mind. And uh, now that we're finished, we'll go ahead and swipe up and we need to set the pin. All right, so we'll go ahead and continue there. We'll go ahead and set the pin. We'll do that on our device as well. And we'll go ahead and swipe up and we'll enter a pin. You can use a very long pin if you want to. I'm just going to use a short one here. This is just an example. You'll just need to enter the same pin twice. All right, and then we'll uh, go ahead and continue here. And now we can set the coins we would like to manage. Um, I've, uh, I'm okay with Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Solana, but you can enable new ones if you want. You can enable Cardano um, or Polygon, uh, however many coins you wish to manage here. We'll go ahead and hit complete setup and we can name the device here. I'm going to go ahead and indicate in my uh, name of the device that this is multi-share just uh, so I will know. Um, you may not be like me, uh, but I have several devices, so um, I just like to stay organized. So I'm going to indicate in the name that this is a multi-share and then we need to hit edit name here to uh, confirm this and we'll need to confirm that on the device, right? We'll hit swipe up and then tap to confirm. All right, and then we're done with the setup. And then we can go ahead and access the suite. If you remember, I chose the, to make this uh, view only in my Trezor suite so that I can still view these accounts without having the device connected. And then we can also access the passphrase here. Right, so uh, we can click here and we can add the passphrase here if you want to. This is more for advanced users because no one can retrieve this passphrase for you. If you forget the passphrase, you will lose access to your crypto. So use this with extreme caution. We've set up the new Trezor Safe 5 uh, using a multi-share backup. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.